right, we have Jim Dietz here, head coach at UMass, and one of the original rowers in the 1965 Adler Charles. Jim, can you tell us a little bit about that first year? Well, it was very small. It was just uh, the locals here. Uh, the New York Athletic Club came up to uh, to fill in a lot of the events because it was so much sculling going on. Uh, you could have probably fit all the competitors in the, the parking lot at the Cambridge Boat Club. So as you can see, it's grown considerably since then. Wow, and how many races have you done? How many Head of the Charles? This is my 49th Head of the Charles. I missed uh, 1984. I was in the hospital uh, having my back work done. Wow. And uh, do you have a favorite regatta that you that you raced? You know, I'll, I'll tell you, there, you know, so many of the races were were in singles. You know, in the in the championship single, championship double with Larry Kukatsky. Uh But I think it was 68 or maybe 69. Uh, the Northeastern Eight had a tie here in the championship eight with the Union Boat Club. So that was kind of special in that you had all your buddies with you. And a lot of those guys are racing here today. And what's the biggest difference you've seen as, as the race has grown, even just in the past 20, 30 years? Well, I mean, the, the, the sport has grown exp exponentially in the past you know, 20, 30 years, but the level of competition is just so much better. Uh, I mean, there. The international flair of this regatta now. I mean, we're hosting crews on our trailer here from Turkey, Denmark, Australia, Great Britain. Uh, so you, you really, the, the tribe of American rowing has spread to the tribe of international rowing. And how was your race today? It was a good race today. You know, I was a little sluggish getting, getting started, uh, but I got through it. And uh, showing up's the important thing here. Absolutely. Thanks so much.